So this is going to be kind of a new video for me to be making. I will be setting up a new binder for my Irene collection. Um, it used to be in this binder over here. Obviously it's a Pokemon, but it was like the closest thing to a bunny and her member color. So um, that's why I initially chose this for my Irene binder collection, but um, it's growing so much that it doesn't fit. So I had to um, take out cards that were previously in here and put it in this type of like Animal Crossing binder. Um, and the reason I don't use regular binders, despite it having a bigger spine, is because I kind of prefer to cover up the cards with, with like a zipper. I just like that extra security, but I know like if this collection ever gets to immense, either I'm gonna have to get multiple binders like this and separate the big inclusions from the photo cards or I may have to just like get the giant binder, you know, the regular binder all together. My collection is not that big yet. Um, it's okay for me to put this in here. And this binder spine is slightly larger than this previous one I used. It's like 2.05 inches, so hopefully it fits everything. I already organized the cards in the order I wanted to do it just to save time. It'll probably take a while. And then over here are my big inclusions. I guess I'll start with these first. Oops. So I don't collect every single one of her big inclusions, but if I do get it, then, you know, of course I'm gonna display it. I'm not, I don't really go all out with decorating. Like I'm kind of straightforward about it, but um, I just put the monster photos and some random inclusions as the cover page. I kind of think of the cover page as like kind of like cushioning because yeah I don't want to ruin the trading cards that take a lot of work to collect and these are just like random postcards season's greetings or fan club postcards I don't have many but so I just, to just leave the order as is just for now This one's a little out of place, but I'm gonna have to um, fix that later. And then these are um, album inclusions. As you can see, I have to washi tape it because they like to slide out. It's mostly like monster inclusions that I actually don't have all of them. Wait, what is this? Okay, random Polaroids and day two stuff. And then I try to fit the posters in here because I don't hang posters on my wall. It just doesn't work out. So I try to like put them in here or I just stuff in my closet. Okay, so those are the big inclusions. I guess I could like slowly flip through it just so you could get a better view. But yeah. So this is monster, monster inclusion, queendom, day two. Queendom, Seasons Greetings, Seasons Greetings, SMCU, and then Feel My Rhythm. I actually went out of my way to buy these because they were so pretty. Like, I really love her Feel My Rhythm outfit. So, um, I'm kind of tempted to get the, I think it's called A4 photo. So hopefully they'll fit as a cover page in my binder in the future once I receive it. It's a little out of order, but you know, it's all Irene, it's fine. I guess like if it bothers me enough, I'll change it. Yeah, so um, I also have like these freebie stickers. I kind of don't want to change the order because I kind of like it the way it is already. So... And then I have like random clinic ones. These are like giant photo cards and an SMCU card right here and um, trolls. Okay, I had to adjust the lighting so hopefully it doesn't bother anybody. But um, I 
put hopefully just enough um, nine pocket sleeves. So I'm just gonna like start placing things in order, but yeah. So this is the freebie cover page. I decided to put non-album cards first. So the, these are um, Season's Greetings. I'm actually expecting cards to come in. I feel like I'm always expecting new cards to come in because I'm always on the lookout to, you know, add on to this collection. So this order could change at any moment. Just, I know for sure I have, um, I think it was like the Queendom something Lib AR Lib. I have that in queue to unbox. So I'll definitely have to keep a space for that. And sometimes I forget what I order and then it just shows up at my door or my mailbox and I have to like shift everything. So um, this is the first time I'm showing on camera of me kind of like starting all over, but this is pretty much what I do. Like I'll take out all the cards and then, you know, rearrange it if it's like that much of a mess. But if, um, if it's easy to add on, then I just like scooch some cards just one space over. It's not that bad. So I'm still on Seasons Greetings. That was, um, I think this is 2021. These are 2020, 2021, uh, and then 2022 right now. I know a lot of these are um, pre-order benefit cards from various stores. So they all pretty much look like like the same photo of Irene, but you know, zoomed a little in or a little out. I was debating if I should put album cards first, but because um, I'm always on the lookout for non-album cards lately, it's kind of easier to reach them in the front. And then kind of just adjust the order of the collection. So we're still on 2022. I'm usually not the type to like get so many of the same pose, like season's greetings. But um, yeah, I was able to collect them over time. And then these are like the SM Coex cards, so believe it's I don't know if this is older this one's older I have no idea maybe this goes first maybe this is older yeah I didn't really know where to put this but it's not exactly an album card so I guess it'll go there wondering if I should zoom in more but I guess I'll just like zoom in in the end once I sleeve everything and this one I really like this card this is from um an old um endorsement she did for a mobile game so personally this these are my favorite I believe there's like three others or three to four no three to five other photo cards from this endorsement and I'm expecting an ace card. I think one or two. I got some deals on that. So I'll be leaving a space here. I know a lot of people, they put like placeholders and paper. But I feel like that's a waste. I'd rather just like, you know, wing it. So these two are ace fan clubs. This is, you know, 2020 fan club. I think I may be expecting another one. So I'll leave a space there. Um, What is this? red room so now I think I already put an SMCU did I? I thought he did 
Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, so my reasoning was Season's Greetings first, which is a non-album photo, photo card. Um, and then these might be like randoms, like SM events or endorsements. And then next will be Tour, Tour photo cards. Well, this is Fan Club. And then this is Red Room, a Tour photo card. So we got Red Room here. These two are LaRouge. I'm, I think I'm expecting one of her other LaRouge cards. There's like so many to collect, but they're like either non-existent or like crazy expensive. So I will probably leave room for at least one. So for now, I know I'm expecting one LaRouge card. Was it LaRouge? Yeah, LaRouge. And then I'm going to put these Japanese. I think these are Japanese. These Japanese tour cards. Fukuoka. These are Red Mare Japan cards. This is like a Red Mare hollow card. And there's three in this set. This is also Red Mare photo cards. It's like from um, certain merch. But um, I know I don't have that third one yet. I don't know if I should leave a space or not. It's kind of like puts pressure. Like, oh, you better get that. You better spend that coin on that. <laughs> so I don't know if I should. I'll, I'll just cover it up, whatever. It's not like I'm rushing to get it all. So this is the MC SMCU Express album. And then SM Town. I know I have an SM Town Live here, but they kind of, these are kind of like, the same style of cards so that's why i'm leaving them together oops and then sm town live i forgot what this is like the metal card i think no it's not it's something else this might be the metal card and yeah anti can mirror card over here oh no they're gonna be separated oh wait oh my god I just realized there's endorsement cards here. Uh, um, I wonder if I should change anything up. How many endorsement cards do I have? So these are like the Clinique set. Yeah, the rest of these are endorsements. Oh, exactly nine. There'll be one left over. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna put it as is and then worry about it later. I wonder if I should move this then and put it in the back. This is not exactly a card. So even though this is planned out, there's always a chance that things are gonna change. I don't know, is it better that I zoom it out or zoom it all in? Well, this was kind of a collection over time. There's more Clinique cards, like the large versions, but um, I'm not really a big fan of collecting things that are not trading card size, you know, unless it, there's nothing else to collect. I prefer just um, collecting these trading cards. Okay, so now we are on the photo album cards. I'm thinking I'm just gonna zoom just so it's like a better view and then maybe I'll set it to the side over here so we're starting at ice cream cake ideally it'd be nice to like put all the members together and then each page has kind of like that comeback theme but I decided to solely focus on Irene because she's my bias, obviously. And then two, you know, it's a lot of work collecting OT5. But um, I'm really happy with my Irene collection. Like there's nothing more satisfying than collecting your bias, right? So um, we got up to Red Flavor. Is that red flavor? Um, this card I'm not very happy about because I couldn't pull this one. 
no matter how many rookie albums I got. And then this person told me that this was like new or like a new condition, but you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's actually like tiny scratches on it. So that's kind of a pet peeve. So I'm like kind of on the lookout for a replacement. And then these guys I pulled myself. I decided to just, you know, just keep it for now until I decide what I want to do with all the extras. Okay, so red flavor. Now we're at perfect, the perfect velvet. So peekaboo time. Yeah, I already sleeved all this prior, just so it's like smoother organization. This one, I'm so happy. I pulled it myself. Like that. That card is going for an insane amount. Oh my god, this card has like dog hair on it. And then these are the original um, Perfect Red Velvet Kino photo cards. And then as for this, this is not from an album, but I decided for now, since I don't have all the hollows, I'm just gonna group these merch type photo cards with the comeback it came with. So this is um, Peekaboo era, Bad Boy era. I just kind of grouped it together. So as much as possible, I'm trying to make this chronological, but um, it's not always gonna be the case. You'll see later what I planned out. So that's Cookie Jar. Here's um, Summer Magic. What is this? Sappy. I pulled two of these. This one I couldn't pull for the life of me, so I had to purchase it. And it's really weird because these two are different colors. I feel like the one on the right is a bit more vivid. So I wonder if it's like one's a reprint and one isn't, or, you know, one of them is original and the other one's a dupe, or not a dupe, a fake. But you never know with these things. Like, it's really hard to tell. Like, I know they say, oh, look at the perforation at the edges. And I think they did have it. So there's, I guess there's always a chance of a difference in printing. Whether first or second press, I don't really care about that. Okay, so this is RBB. There's also a hollow over here. Oh yeah, I feel like this is going out of focus a lot. This is um, a hollow over here. And then we're down to day two. Are we already at day two? No, day one, right? I don't remember what this is. Oh wait, duh, read. Okay, yeah, that is day one. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was yellow. But I realized maybe, I think day one is the back is based off the member color. So that solves that mystery. So I pulled these like two times in a row and then I think I got one on um, with a good deal. So that's why I have so many of them. <laughs> okay, next stack. The, this Kino I pulled myself, it took me forever. Like if you take a look at my other video, you'll see how many Kinos I had to buy to pull this. So, I'm very glad to have Green Baby's um, profile photo. And this one's fairly new. This is a Cashby card. I don't really... It's not like a priority to get Cashby, but like I said, if it's a good deal, I'll get it. It's kind of crazy how there's like some sellers that sell her cards at outrageous prices. It's like, I don't know how they expect. There's like, they kind of take advantage of fans or collectors of Irene. So it kind of sucks that, you know, there's some people that overprice these. And I decided to add the, um, the bookmark inclusion just because, you know, it matches. I don't know where else I'd put it. Because if I put it in, you know, the misc inclusions, I feel like it doesn't really look good. It'll look out of place. So, you know, I just decided to include it with the album cards and the merch card. 
I'm still on the hunt for the other trading card of this because it's super cute. So this is like a legit trading card from SM, but I cannot find the other one at a normal price. And normal Irene prices are still so freaking expensive. Um, I was lucky enough to pull these from a day two Kino, or I guess two day two Kinos. So I'm glad I didn't have to worry about that one. This one I could not pull for the life of me. These are day two. I think these are from the um, the regular album. And then this is from the guidebook. And once again, I pulled this many times. So I have a couple of them. I really want, like I know Sogi's coming out with a solo, so I'm definitely going to buy the album. But I'm really hoping for another Red Velvet comeback because I want to keep adding on to this collection. You know, it's like kind of worrisome because they're, it's already generation four. So I don't know. Hopefully there's still going to be many more comebacks of Red Velvet, but we never know. And now it's Psycho. I kind of went crazy with um, Psycho scrapbook versions because I wanted to pull Glitter Tears, Sulky, and then a few Irene's. Um, I did end up pulling this one. I think I have it on a video. These I pulled. I pulled two of these Irene's, so very thankful for that. And this is new too. It's um, Psycho Hollow. It's gorgeous. I'm actually missing a lot of hollows. I, I placed an order for um, the Summer Magic Hollow like way back when, so many months ago. And I noticed it already got released, but the seller has not shipped it. And I, I just had to like keep bothering them about it. So hopefully I get the Summer Magic Hollow one day. And then this is the Psycho Lenticular. So it came with the hollow. And then this one is um the key ring. So this is also a merch card. Psycho era merch card. And now we're to Queendom. I was so stoked that I pulled this like when I when I got that card, like my other inclusions were mostly Irene, so <laughs> it was a very good day of pulling. Of course this one was so hard to get. Like back then it was so hard to get. I noticed um it's been circulating a lot more lately, so you know that's good. And then this is Mumo Queendom Irene. You can see by that sticker in the back. I kind of prefer to just leave it like that. You know with the packaging. And then these, I didn't know they were stickers when I purchased them. I thought they were cards. So um, I need to unbox another Queendom, what was it called, like interview? A Beyond Live interview kit thing. So I'm going to leave a space over here for that. I definitely remember I have to unbox that. And then more Queendom. Merch photo cards. And a hollow. So I'm debating like later on once I get all the hollows, if I should group them together or just keep it as is, you know, keep the hollow with the comeback it came from. So that's Queendom after Queendom was Bloom. This is a group photo card, but I kind of wanted to put this in the Irene binder because she looks so pretty here. I love Bloom, like it didn't get enough attention, especially with Wildside. Like I was like so stoked when they performed it at, um, what was it called, SM, SM Town Live in Japan. So that was pretty awesome. I wish there was more photo cards from that comeback because it was so fierce. I loved it. I actually preferred it over Feel My Rhythm, but then over time, you know, the Feel My Rhythm song, like got more catchy to me and these were this was my first feel my rhythm pool from the um I think it was Kalmado version so I pulled these many times I got so many different copies to the point I was just like giving my friends my extra red velvet feel my rhythm copies 
but I hope that made them all fans, so yeah. This is my favorite photo card from the Feel My Rhythm comeback. Like I said this so many times, like I love her hair, her hair color, the background of pink roses, her beautiful pink gown and that crown. Like she looks so elegant. She looks like a freaking flower princess. And then this one is a Mumo pre-order card from Japan. So I only have one of these, but this is like another one of my favorite cards. Oh, I just realized I have another one of these. Yeah, so let's leave that. And then this one is, um, I'm trying to remember. I think this came from like a glass cup merch. So I have to get it. I mean, this is my favorite outfit and look of Irene from Feel My Rhythm. And then we got more. The Orgel version Irene over here. It's so funny, like I got so many Orgel albums. I could not pull the ballerina standy of Irene. Like I got everybody else except Irene, so I'm actually I actually like decided to just go for it and just you know, buy it second hand so I could display it. I think it's too thick to display in a binder, but oh, it's okay. So these are Feel My Rhythm. Um, this is a supposed Chinese fan sign from Feel My Rhythm. It's been circulating. I got a couple extras because... Um, I mentioned in my previous photo card haul video how um, when you place an order for a card, it doesn't always guarantee that you'll get it. So the proxy could always cancel it. So that's my reasoning. Okay, so for this, um, I skipped Queendom. I think um, before Queendom was Monster, so after Psycho was Monster. But... Because there's many um, unit photo cards, I decided to just put that at the end. Because since this is solely an Irene binder, I decided it's better to put more group things on like units at the end. So, got her lenticular over here. This is like from a Chinese fan sign, supposedly. So, monsters last. This one I pulled myself, so I'm glad I could. I remember this was kind of hard to get online. And then the rest are just like merch cards. This is a sticker. Um, I guess sticker doesn't really count as a trading card, but it kind of, you know, helps with filling out the theme. They really know it's from the monster era. And then here's some unit. Yeah, the rest are unit cards of Irene and Sulgi. And then we're nearing the end. Yeah, there's so many cards I can't remember what was top note, um, what was it called? Bottom? Top note, middle note, and base note. I don't know why this is here, but I'll just stick it there. But yeah. Oh my gosh. So I have enough room for my incoming cards in the future. Um, I'll go ahead and just flip through. I'm thinking of changing this cover page once I get my hands on some kind of, what was it called? A5 or A4? I don't remember, but I'm going to try to get something that actually fits in this um, sleeve, like one, one piece sleeve. So I kind of just stuck a random freebie because it was cute. And then this is from the scrapbook album. Maybe I should pull that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. 